welcome back student today we will go to the next topic in the fifth unit that is recursive language languages and recursively en enumerable languages and rice theorem in the last class we saw the undecidable problems and we saw two problems like measuring problem and uh, and halting problem okay so today we are going to see this topics let's move to the next slide recursive language a language l is said to be recursive if there exists a turing machine which will accept all the strings in l and reject all the string not in l so recursive is nothing but whatever the strings are available in the l that will accept by the turing machine and which is not in which is not uh, available in the l that will reject so in short this is accept all the string which are in l and those who are not in l that is rejecting okay the turing machine will halt every time and give an answer accept or reject for each and every string input so what it is doing every time it give you the result or answer either accept or reject because as we are mentioning here in the first recursively when we are saying recursive if all the string in L okay which will accept all the string in L Turing machine will accept all the string in L that is a recursive and reject all the string not in L so this is the recursive okay the next is recursively enumerable language a language L is said to be recursively enumerable language if there exist a Turing machine which will accept and therefore halt for all the input string which are in L okay but may or may not halt for all input string which are not in L so here the difference between recursively language and recur uh, recursive language and recursively enumerable language is recursive language is accepting all the string which are available in the L and which are not available in the L it is rejecting and in recursive every time it is halting and giving the result either accept or reject just now I spoke about this okay in the recursively enumerable language is when it sh should be uh, recursively enumerable language is for all the input string which are in L okay and therefore halt like in recursively every time it is halting and giving the result but it is not compulsory may or may not halt for all input string which are not in L so in short whatever in L that is halting and giving the result every time and which are not in the string which strings are not available in the L for that may or may not halt for all input so recursive the first one recursive language is uh, every time it's giving an answer either it is available in language L or not either accept or reject but here it is just giving the result compulsory it will give the result which is string all the input is string which are in available in L and for that it will stop and give the answer but may or may not be uh, may not halt for all input string which are not in L so this is a small difference between recursive language and non-recursive language 
I hope you understand this. Next, universal Turing machine. What is universal Turing machine? In the last session, we saw the two problem, membership problem and halting problem. So in that, we use the universal Turing machine. What is this universal Turing machine? It is a recognizer, but not a decider. Sometime it is loop. Sometime it is loop. If it is going to loop, like two are there, two states are there. If it is going into loop from here to here, then it will be very difficult. So it is not a decider, but sometime it will give you accept or reject, but uh, sometime it will go into the loop. So what is UTM? This is the shortcut is U T M U T M Universal Turing Machine. Okay. In the universal Turing machine, just it will recognize but not a decider. It will recognize the language and sometime it will be a loop. Okay. So what is the language for the universal Turing machine? ATM already we have done this in the last class. ATM is equals to bracket open capital M is a Turing machine W is a string M is a Turing machine this M is a Turing machine that accept a string W that accept a string W so this is a universal Turing machine and in the previous lecture if you go to previous lecture you can see the two two problems membership problem and halting problem we have done with the help of universal Turing machine that is decidable and undecidable okay decidable and undecidable what is decidable decidable is nothing but uh, sorry decidable is a uh, solution okay S or solvable problem undecidable is uh, undecidable problem is not solvable or unsolvable problem so this is about the Turing machine recursive language till now we finish recursive language recursively enumerable language and universal Turing machine now we will see the rice theorem we'll see the rice theorem okay in the rice theorem uh, I think I can't write what is rice theorem rice theorem is uh, L is equals to M L of M belongs to P is undecidable when when it will be undecidable when P a non trivial property of a Turing machine is undecidable if the following two properties hold it is proved as undecidable so what are the two properties first one if M1 and M2 these are the Turing machine recognize same language then either M1 or M2 belongs to L or M1 M2 does not belongs to L what it is telling M1 and M2 the both are the Turing machines recognize recognize the same language then either M1 M2 belongs to L or M1 M2 does not belongs to L second property is for some m1 and m2 such that m1 belongs to l and m2 does not belongs to l there is a two properties will be there m1 and m2 will be there uh, like m1 and m2 recognize the same language if both are the same language either it is belongs to or does not belongs to but here for some m1 and m2 such that m1 belongs to l and m2 
does not belongs to L. So what is a proof? Let there are two Turing machine x1 and x2. Here we are taking m1 and m2. So here we are taking x1 and x2. Let us assume x1 belongs to L such that L of x1 is a phi and x2 does not belongs to L. The second property. Okay. For for an input W in a particular instance perform the following step. Okay. What it is what we are doing here? We have taken the two machines x1 and x2. X1 is belongs to L, this one and x1 x2 does not belongs to l that is m2 for an ins input what the input we are giving we are giving input w in a particular instance perform the following steps if x except w any one of the x except w then simulate x2 on x simulate x2 on x x we are taking some extra if x except w then simulate x2 on x okay that we are telling then after that run z on input w okay when you are running the z we are taking this x and z uh, the temporary variables symbols for showing you the solve problem so x when x is accepting w then simulate x2 on x run z on input w so we are running the z then there is a two options will be there if z accept w whatever the input you are giving here if it is accept reject it reject it okay and if z rejects z rejects this w then accept it if x accept w if x accept w then l of w l of w is equals to l of x2 why this because we are already telling here if x is accept w then simulate x2 on x so l of w is equals to l of x2 and w does not belongs to p does not belongs to p this okay m machine we were taking lm is does not belongs to p if m does not accept if does not accept w okay machine does not accept w then l of w is equals to L of x1 is equals to phi and w belongs to p this one L of x1 is a phi and w belongs to p and x2 does not belongs to L here the contradiction arise hence it is a undecidable okay it is a undecidable so this is about the rice theorem once again I will repeat in the rice theorem this is a language language is a m is a one machine and that is L of M that machine is uh, giving in lang in, in language and belongs to P is undecidable when P a non driver uh, trival property of a Turing machine is undecidable so there are the two properties are there M1 and M2 that are the two Turing machines and the Turing machines both are belongs to L or does not belongs to L because both are the same language or property 2 some M1 and M2 such that M1 belongs to L and M2 does not belongs to L. So for this, let there are two Turing machine x1 and x2. Okay, x1 belongs to L, and such that L of x1 is phi, 
and x2 does not belongs to L for this for all input w in a particular instance perform the following steps okay first one is x accept w x we have taken a some symbol and we are accepting all the w's whatever the w's are here then simulate x2 on x run z on in input of w when you are running this z if either it will accept okay if z accept w then reject it and if z reject w whatever the symbols are there if it is reject then accept it if x accept w then l of w is equals to l of x2 and w does not belongs to p because x accept w then L of W is equals to L of X2. If M does not accept W, then L of W is equals to L of X1 phi. Okay, and W belongs to P. So here the contradiction, how it is, uh, the contradiction will be he raised here. But this is a proof for in the Rice theorem how to see the it is undecidable so this is a important in the exam you need to write this and you need to explain and these two properties also also very important maybe definitely in two marks question this will you will get in two marks at least okay so this is about the today's lecture in the next class we will see the rest of the topics okay thank you very much we'll see you in the next class.